beating yourself up about not accomplishing what other people accomplished. Right. Like, oh, okay. He got a Grammy. He was on BET Awards. As soon as Corona hit, niggas gotta <laughs> downsize everything. He got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, man. So, well, so. before Corona, this shit was crazy because you know how I really noticed niggas don't be having that bag for real? When they'll never come back to Miami outside of promo run from their label. <laughs> Niggas can't, niggas stop before in Miami vacations. Right, right, it's over with. It's over, once your label yeah. send you through my, send you through Miami. It's over with. And you ain't making no bag no more on your own. It's obvious you can't afford to visit Miami no more. Yeah, it's over with. Cause the tip of. Tip of the nigga fall in love, yeah. man. Yeah, for real. So, so, so I'm saying like, right, right, you know, plain and simple to wrap this situation up, like, you know, as far as the last words, like, you want to be remembered as Ice Billion Bird, the artist, or you want to be remembered as Live House, the label? I want to be remembered as, put this camera on my face. I'm going to be remembered as Teron Robinson, the man who started a lot of shit. Okay. Ice Billion Berg was his artist's name. Okay. But this nigga is the owner of a million dollar kennel. He's the owner of a million dollar merchandise line. He's the owner of a restaurant. He's the owner of health products. He's a great father. He makes movies on occasions. Okay. You feel me? This shit deeper than just rapping on beats good. Nigga mastered that shit. I master rapping on songs. I do verses in 10 minutes. Okay. I master that shit. But if I keep holding that over people's head, oh, I rap good, I rap good, I rap good. What the fuck that's gonna do for humanity? humanity? Right, right, right. A lot of niggas play football good. And they just hold it over people's head. I played football <laughs> good. I played football good. <laughs> niggas who don't even play now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played football good. I yeah, played what, football what good. High school, nigga. You 35. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck all that. Or niggas who know how to fight good. Or niggas who, you know, or niggas who had the good. Like, we got to keep evolving, dog. Right, 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 we ain't dead till we don't, we ain't dead till we dead and not even. Yeah. So... The soul never dies, so if we just stop at being good at one thing, man, that shit don't mean nothing, man. Right. Like, do new shit, man. Niggas still do. There's motherfuckers in China building apps at the age of 70. Right. I seen an elderly lady in China learn how to code and build the app for elderly people. Right. I just want niggas, to, you know, niggas yeah. like, but it be niggas who like fight good in the neighborhood, live off that till they forty. Right. Oh boy, you don't know who I am. Nah, boy, I don't know you. Nah, boy, you better ask about me, boy. I'll knock niggas eyes out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fool, I don't give a fuck. Fool. <laughs> like I'm talking about, I will pull up in the nigga city doing the show. <laughs> Nigga introduce. They uncle, but that's what they introduce his uncle for. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't give a fuck how good, dog. I used to fight like, fool, I'm only in town for a night, bro. I'm not finna sit here for an hour or two and talk about how good your green ass used to fight, man. Yeah, yeah. Nigga yeah, fight yeah. good at night and everybody with me fight good. Yeah, this shit for real. Everybody got a knockout of 200 day belt, man. Leave me alone, man. What is you doing now? Right, right. That's real. I wouldn't give a fuck if you told me you got a mobile car wash, nigga. Come pull up, I'ma tip you in. Yeah, man. You feel what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if you told me you got a restaurant, I'm pulling up. 
give a fuck about how good you fought. So that's what I'm all, I'm saying all that, not to get too deep in that, but I'm saying all that to say, I don't want to just get old and just say, yeah, man, you know, nigga rapping good. Because a lot of niggas who won Grammys and shit, when we realize how much bullshit the Grammys did, people who won Grammys ain't even going, we ain't even going to give a fuck. Right. How right. you won Grammys? Right. Oh, that's cool, but you know they used to cheat a lot. Right, right, right. So with this shit, with this shit coming back all the way Matter to Matter of fact, Kanye just pissed on the Grammy. Right. With this really shit coming all the way back to this independent shit and this street shit, this shit that you've been preaching for the last 10 years, like, do you feel now like you get a chance to like really smile and kick your feet up like motherfucker I've been telling y'all this shit nah it's time to go hard it's time to go fast <laughs> nah right, right oh y'all right. gonna watch me do what I do best okay the turn up button now nah. alright fuck it I'm gonna hit that on um, that, that 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 nitro button over there right 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 so when so when so when so when, so when you when you when you visualizing all this shit was going on you paying attention cause I know I'm studying because I'm a yeah. fan of Ice Billion Bird. So I'm, yeah. I'm studying and knowing that, that you yeah. studying this shit. So like on the independent level, like, what's your next biggest move? Like, like you gonna shit. continue to feed the people or like, like what I don't really with? know. It's all about you know that shit be all about how they um react to the art. The most uh, anxious. And pressure and time for me is when I'm about to put out a project. Right, right, right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So when I finish a body of work, like I got 11 songs right now. Right. That I've been working on for the last eight months. Right. When I put this shit... What's the title of the project? Power over popularity. Power over popularity. You know, I'm, I'm on... And I've been in here, I've been in here, you know, man, you know, I'm, I'm an open person. So yeah. I've been here... Sneaking and snoozing around yeah. and trap and playing that shit with mm -hmm. me and you You getting deep. I'm talking about you getting too yeah. deep to the point where I feel like they might be scared. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So how you feeling about the people like That's why know? I got that lion, man, they need to be scared. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> got that fucking lion yeah, that on that front. Scared, I want bro. you to be scared. I don't want you to. I don't want you to look power at my popularity. power over popularity. I don't so, want a nigga to look at my picture and say, "Oh, he's a nice looking guy. I'ma give him a chance." Nah, this ain't for everybody. So at this point, with all the work you done put in, all the shit you done built up, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does it take at this point right now to get Iceberg to deal with a major label? Like I said, I don't know, man. This pandemic is shit crazy. I don't even know if major labels going to really be even too healthy after this shit. You ain't understanding what they what they trying to what they trying to preach right now. I don't understand the narrative they going to have uh, and how they going to um really get through what's going on with this Seemingly rebellion that different artists going through. Right, right, right. Like right. they they going through this rebellious state. Right. Everybody want to be independent. Independent, the thing to do right now. Right. That ain't good for majors labels. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 right. So it seemed to me for major labels to even be putting up a fight, they're going to have to get some great deals, right. some great partnerships out. And if they don't give the right partnerships out to the right people, like the right type of deals out, they eventually might crumble, man. Especially they already going to take a blow being that they can't fuck over people for life. And that's how they're able to hire all these people and sustain these lifestyles through our art. Right. They sustain nice lifestyles through other people art. These other people art who su who um keeping up these people lifestyles. These people be on drugs somewhere, you know, <laughs> for real. Like going through hard times, man. Right. And they done gave years and years of these arts 
to make these people live a certain life. And they, you know, fucked up somewhere. All right. So as far as like, you know, we in 2020. This shit getting worse before it get better. Like, so we fight, besides this project that you focusing on releasing, like, we looking at you as like, you know, the next biggest CEO from Florida on the independent level. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you focusing on any other artists to expand the brand or you just focusing on you and Bushy B at nah, this time? Nah, really just like, see me, it ain't really my job to even focus on the artists at this point. I'm just more so focused on the brand. And when I say that, I just mean like, I just put the right people in the right position to find the right artist. I'm not saying I'm out of tune with the streets, but like when I ran into Bushy B, I ain't even, my homeboy who died introduced me to Bushy B, you know, and I just loved his music. Right. You know, so that was a form of like A&R work. Right, right. You know, unofficial A&R work. And you know, it's just like me, I just focus on making the brand so I could just get as much people as can I can. Like I want I'm really trying to build a entity that could really push out shit, I don't wanna even put no number on how many takes I'm trying to put out a year. Yeah.